And what is going on you guys? Cloud City Boba Fett back for another video today. And in today's video, we're gonna take a look at this Indiana Jones exclusive right here. I've been wanting one of these for a very long time and I'm very happy to have just gotten one in the mail. Shout out to my friend Leighton Brick Brothers for letting me have one of these. He has three of these, so I was able to pick one up from him. But without further ado, you guys, we're gonna take a look at what's inside the actual exclusive and what makes this such a special Lego Indiana Jones set. Let's get into it. So here it is, you guys, the San Diego Comic-Con Indiana Jones 2008 exclusive. And yes, that is right. There was only 500 of these ever made. And right there, that crate says it's number 74. It is representative of the box crates that we see in Indiana Jones at that top secret facility. So if you take a look at it, there's all sorts of cool little details. I think a very cool box for the exclusive. And yes, it is sponsored by Brickmaster. If you didn't know, Brickmaster back in the day was kind of a Lego subscription service where you'd be able to get fun poly bags and little sets that were exclusive to the subscription. So back in 2008, when they had the San Diego Comic-Con, Brickmaster ended up putting this set together right here. Let's take a look at what's actually inside of it. So before opening it, I wanted to mention it says Cairo, Indiana Jones, and that says 1935 right there. It says airmail, so it's supposed to be kind of like a cool little label on there too. I absolutely love how they did the box. I think it's so cool. It says danger. It's just an awesome little piece of what you'd think Indiana Jones would be looking through. So let's take a look at the actual exclusive opened up and see what's inside. So there we have it, you guys. We have quite a few things in here, but the first we're gonna take a look at is the set we get. This is the actual exclusive set. It's got 117 pieces. It says ages six plus, Indiana Jones label. And really the most exclusive thing out of the whole box is the sets, instructions, yes, uh, there's some stickers that were also using Indiana Jones and there's no exclusive pieces in here or anything, but it's what kind of like makes up this whole box together that makes it so cool. I'd say the most exclusive part of this whole thing is the outer box because we have that fun crate-like design, but this goes along with the poly bag. So I'll take the poly bag out too. The second thing we have in there is the Brickmaster 20004 poly bag, which is Indiana Jones in this cool little truck. And this truck goes along with the actual build of this exclusive right here. So let's take a look at the instructions so you can see what this would look like all put together. I'm not gonna put it together because I don't really want to right now, but I'm gonna show you what the instructions look like and kind of what the built up model, if you put these together, looks like. So if we take the instructions out, they actually look like a map with the instructions over it. And as you can see, this is what it looks like fully built up. You have some Indians and they're chasing Indiana Jones. He's inside his little vehicle right there. As you can see, these are the pieces that build up that background and have the Indians inside of it. So we kind of have this whole segment right here. The whole idea is that you can take his car, you can ramp up, and then this diamond is actually placed up here. So he can snatch the diamond and kind of get away. There's also a little trap he can fall down into as well but it's a cool little exclusive let's see what what does that say there oh it's just lego trademarks right there but this that's pretty much what it looks like when it's all built up like i said there's no exclusive pieces or anything like that yeah you do get two stickers from the temple escape set from indiana jones but other than that you know the most exclusive parts of this whole you know special for san diego comic-con 2008 is the outer box the fact that they made the set and put the 117 piece count, you have that outer bag right there, and then these exclusive instructions too. So really, uh, what makes this special is that it's perfect for any Indiana Jones fan, and that's pretty much it as far as the build. I mean, as you can see, it's pretty straight up. Maybe I will build it at some point and share that with you guys too. I'm just not gonna do that yet because I like keeping it inside of the box. If you wanna see what the other side of the instructions looks like, this is what it looks like, how you can get the base set up and everything, and it is dual-sided as well. So there's that second part, or actually you start right here. This is number one. So it's kind of like a linear set of instructions that go to a part two, and then that finishes that. You add over your Brickmaster poly bag, build that, and then you put the two together. So that's pretty much it as far as that. The last thing we have inside of the actual box is the Brickmaster catalog. As you can see here, this is just an advertisement for the six exclusive sets only available to Brickmasters. This is pretty much a subscription stub and you can put in your information and sign up for Brickmaster. There's that Indiana Jones card that we have right here. I actually own two of these poly bags. I had one back in the day as well because I was a part of Brickmaster as a kid. And to recap, that's kind of all that there is to this exclusive. It's not the most insane thing ever, but I have to say being a massive Indiana Jones fan, 
This is probably one of my favorite and most rare exclusives that I've ever gotten in my collection. I mean, having an exclusive that you have number 74 out of 500 ever is so special to me. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked content like this, and there's tons more to come. So thank you so much, you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.